Well, a hearty welcome to you all, my viewers and followers and subscribers. A hearty welcome to new ones who are seeing this face and this content for the first time. My lady Sundowns have done it again and they've started their group stages in Kev Champions League with a win against newcomers from Mauritiana, a 3 nil professional performance. And on this episode, we're basically discussing the five things or the five lessons we're taking out from this particular game and we are wasting no time what well, the first lesson we're taking out from this game Mamelodi Sundowns they are obsessed with winning and you can tell it's from everywhere in the club I mean uh, it is filtering through right from the chairman I mean uh, even the groundsmen the, the ones who are preparing uh, food for the players the chefs the the, the uh, the technical team. I mean, you can even tell with the women's club that have just recently won uh, Kev Champions League for for ladies. And uh, I mean, it 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 it, it runs to to their bloodstream. It it, it pumps to their veins. It, it's in their DNA. Winning is 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 engraved in their hearts. Everyone really performs. I mean, yesterday. You would think because Nodibua, they are new, they are new to this, and you would think Mamelo the Sundowns, yes, they might have rested, maybe forcefully because of injuries, but you would think they would really take it easy and not really go that far, considering that most of these guys are not starters. But the intensity they played with yesterday, you could not tell the difference between the team that won against uh, Wida in that African Football League uh, uh, tournament versus the ones who were playing against this new side. I mean, the intensity was up there. Look at even the boy who came from the bench, the youngest member in the squad yesterday, the 19-year-old uh, Nkosi, uh, I almost said that right here, Nkosi, Ntando, Ntando Nkosi in, in, that, in that midfield. He was really pumping it. He was really pushing it. This just demonstrate how serious and how married these guys are to the vision of the club of being top, of uh, of, of wanting to dominate Africa. The, the the winning mentality is really across the board. I mean, uh, you, you you can't tell the difference between a player who's not been playing for the longest time and the one who's uh, who's who's always picked up for the first eleven or making it to the first 18, everyone is fighting it. Look at the intensity and the energy that Mukwena had. I mean, it, it was it was really hot yesterday in Pretoria, but these boys, Mkulis has not played for that long. Uh, I mean, everyone, everyone, and it all boils down to the obsession with winning. Their coach is also obsessed with winning. Uh, it's a culture of the team, it's embedded in the in the in the dna of of this club and then it's a beauty to see for followers who, who go with sundowns everywhere they go this is what they want to see that's the first thing we're taking out from this game that this football club is obsessed with winning number two well it's a new club and uh, you would think uh, maybe they would also take it easy but no 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 when i watched this game this club reminded me of a Jomo Cosmos. They were kicking us left, right, and center. The first 15 to 20 minutes or so, it was a stop, start, stop, start, stop, start everywhere. Because these giants, they were literally kicking us every opportunity they got. But if the mentality you have is to be really be physical nowadays, it will be to your disadvantage because... The officials, they are under a magnifying class. I mean, Kev Champions League now is commanding attention and uh, is attracting everywhere. I mean, even your FIFA guys now, they are looking and they're watching these games, uh, particularly the officials, how they are doing it here in the premium club competition in Africa. So if you want to come with that mentality of being physical and uh, trying to think that you're going to get away with it, it's not going to work. You will end up getting... Uh, unnecessary yellow cards early on and now you are already playing under pressure but this team is not a bad team but they are very physical i'm wondering 
if they made their research. Were they aware that Pretoria is on a higher altitude, considering that they are a team that's on the on the uh, on on, the, on sea level? And uh, I'm thinking to myself, were they aware they are coming to a high altitude where it's also going to be blistering hot? I mean. They are climate at this point in time. I think they are, they are, they are on the winter season, and uh, I'm not sure if they were aware, but the intensity they started with, I was like, are these guys actually going to last the 90 minutes with the intensity they are starting with? And uh, they are being physical, they are picking up unnecessarily, uh, you know, uh, cards everywhere. And uh, it will be interesting how they will play when Mamelodi Sundowns goes to them for their for their home game, and uh, that's basically what I saw from this team, a very physical team. Just have to wonder now how they're going to play their their home games. Are they going to be as physical, or the game plan is different? Because they've got a Spaniard uh, uh, head coach. We sometimes assume that these coaches maybe because they are coming from that particular country, maybe they will. Uh, play a tiki taka type of football because majority of, of coaches that come from that side of the world they're more of a ball position uh, mentality uh, coaches but anyway that's the first thing that really I saw from this team lesson number three we're taking from this game if you are following this channel and you're following me many videos I've made you will know how much I emphasize on set plays defending them or using them to our advantage uh, if if you are winning them closer to the box and whatnot yesterday's goals two of them came from set plays one a beautiful free kick by gaston amg serino and the second one a corner by marcelo 3310 and shasha finishing finishing it off beautifully and all credit goes to michael loftman i believe before the guy who was concentrated or concentrated more on um, on set plays was uh steve compeller and i think now michael loftman has taken over this position and um it, it's good to see that when you have a free kick or whether it's a corner or it's a free kick closer to the box that it's used to advantage make a goalkeeper save uh hit the target uh, do something not just balloon the ball over the ball don't waste your corners it's good to see that we're benefiting from set plays because when we play north africans that's one thing they really master they've uh, they've really mastered this um they, they've mastered this part of the game uh, and then and then they really do get most of their goals from from set pieces from set pieces and um, and uh, this is what sundowns also they are gradually gradually growing on well the fourth point we are taking or fourth lesson we are taking from this match between my lady sundowns and nordi boa if you were following the rugby world cup uh well, obviously south african rugby team won uh the cup and if you've been following them you will know how much their their bench had an impact on every game especially when it came to knockout I'm talking about uh, quarterfinals, semifinals, even the finals. You'll notice how much the bench uh, won them or had an impact on, on their games. And I'm saying this because it's not even the second half of the season, but a lot of games have been played already uh, by Mamelodi Sundowns. So the impact of the squad uh, coming from the bench or from the stands uh, will, 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 be, will be much, much, much... Uh, uh, valuable or, or needed and uh, to uh, the game played between these two was also a sign of how much uh, squad depth is um, is 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 is, is, a, is an is a, is a biggest factor in, uh, in 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 succeeding in this competition because there's a whole lot of games i mean when only sometimes we'll be playing six i mean three games in six days not a boar super sport on wednesday and i think they are traveling i think they are traveling to tipima zembe uh, so that's like three games in, in in six days so as much as mukwena is not in favor of a squad or rotation but there were a lot of positives 
from the guys who are not regulars yesterday. You look at the performance of uh, a blesser, uh, Spelelem Kulise. He really lifted up his hand and said, hey coach, I'm here. He was also uh, sending a message to the guys who are playing in his position. Your Mukwena, I mean, everyone that's there, your Alende, uh, your Zungu, he really, I mean, they marshaled that midfield so well yesterday. They, he's not, a, I mean, Kulise is not a big man, but I saw there's a, there was a tackle where he just flew to it. And I was like, wow, this is, uh, this is good to see. Uh, by stature, he's not the biggest, but uh, he's got a big heart. He's got a big heart. And uh, he's really raising his hand and saying to the coach, I'm here. Technical team, I'm here. Tebu Mukwena, watch out. I'm here. And uh, this, this is, this is what, what, what you see. I mean, same thing with Katsin Serino. Uh, he, he's saying to Tamba Zwane, I'm still here. One thing about Katsin Serino is that he will, or if he doesn't give you a goal, he will give you an assist. And uh, uh, Mashiko played well yesterday. Uh, played because we don't have a quick left back at Santa. He's probably the quickest. And uh, I like the energy he had yesterday. He was found in right places. He a number of times had uh, whipped in some, some crosses. Uh, I think he created a, a chance or two from running down on the left flank. So it's, it's a good thing to see. I like Tando Kosi, some of the things he did. So, 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 so the, 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 the squad depth is a much needed factor if Sundowns are going to go further in this competition. Mind you, they still want to win the net bank. They still want to, 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 to compete in the league and uh, and go back again to, to 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 playing a competition that they all love participating in which is uh kev champions league there's a whole lot of players who did well yesterday who are not regulars it also well, good to see also good to see matrapa uh tapelo morena probably the most versatile player in the squad he can play right back he can play as an eight. He can play as a false nine. He can play as a target man. He can play as a winger. Literally placed Matrapa Murena anywhere. He will perform. He will give you that seven out of ten. He's coming from a, a, an injury. He's been out for some time. It was good to see him. I think he had like 60 or 65 minutes or so yesterday. And uh, it was a good thing to see. Mandela had some minutes as well. So the squad rotation. I mean, uh, yeah, squad rotation is a big, 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 big plus for Erulani Mukwena. Well, this team might have lost this game. Uh, it's okay. But one thing about uh, Africa is that uh, away games, if you lose them, well, it's okay. But ensure that you win all your home games. Because to make it, out, I mean, history will tell you, to make it out of the group stages, 10 points at least should be safe. That would mean that you are winning all your home games. That's nine points. And at least attempt to get one point away from home. Then you are safe. Uh, you should be safe uh, or at least decide uh, whether you want to win the group or you, you want to, to be runners up, depending who you are, who you want to probably face in the in the in the quarters because that's that's how it is in africa that's how it is uh, and uh sundowns should have uh, seen this uh, from last season and how they 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 decided the fate of um of of al ali they actually saved them and al ali made it to the to the quarters because of the mercy of mamelodi Sundowns. Now, the last lesson is basically the importance of winning all your home games and just fighting it out for one or three points away from the three away games you'll be playing. And Mamelodi Sundowns, they take no chances when it comes to when it comes to uh, winning all the, their their home games. And uh, I mean, all, all, all I mean, all teams now have played one game. The, the 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 one team that could not win their home game uh, big team is Widat and um, and Simba 
they failed to win their home games and uh, we'll have to wait and see what they will do uh, in their second game when they're playing away from home but winning your home games in cap champions league is critical it's very important thank you so much for staying this long and watching me go to the five uh, things we're taking out the five lessons we're taking out from the first game when the sandowns played in their first game in kef champions league the club premium competition on the continent i, I mean we're excited about this kef champions league is back and next weekend is match day two my lord sometimes is going to lubumbashi playing on that uh, artificial turf i uh, dislike playing on those pitches but it is what it is we're in africa and you have to adapt to all types of environments and uh, my lord sometimes have overcome all these dark arts uh, when it comes to playing in africa uh, especially away from home all these uh, tactics that are played by the teams, um, my Mamelodi Sundays, Mamelodi Sundays, I've seen them all, and I believe they are they will be thoroughly prepared, even for the Congolese Giants in TP Mazembe. If you've not subscribed to this channel, please do so. Share it with your friends, families, and enemies. Thank you so much for staying this long. I really appreciate the support, and God bless you all.